Hey, it's Werner from Koitek again. Today we're gonna take a look at Cypress new development kit uh, with their PSOC 6 chip and an e-ink display. The interesting part about the e-ink display is that it retains the image while being completely powered off, as we can see here. No power connected to this board, and we have the last image on the display. We're gonna perform some measurements on this uh, today in the OTI software and see how much current this actually consumes. We're gonna hook this up to the battery connector and start a new project. 3.75 volts will be well within the uh, limits of this battery input. And we start the power and we start uh, recording current. So it's now in sleep mode and um, interestingly enough, this development kit has a very, very high idle current consumption of almost 20 milliamps, uh, 30 milliamps even. Uh, I've uh, tried to locate where this power consumption comes from. Uh, I haven't uh, been successful yet. The interesting part here, though, is when the display is actually updated, uh, where we can definitely see some large spikes here indicating that the e-ink is updating. The maximum current here is almost 70 milliamps, but we have to take in account that we're actually using 30 milliamps somewhere in this development kit, despite the fact that we're powering it off the uh, battery connector. Uh, we can see if it's the uh, main processor that consumes some of this current by connecting the um, ADC uh, pins and using a secondary measurements on the um, uh, main core itself, we can remove this shunt and insert our own shunt with a 2.2 ohm resistor in it. It's actually 2194 milliohms. I measured it. Um, we will measure the voltage here as well, and we perform a new measurement. Wait for this software to boot, and it's back to sleep. The main processor does not sleep very well here. It's 3.19 milliamps average at 3.3 volts. If we force a display update. We can see how long the CPU stays awake. It's not a major increase in power consumption. It hits a maximum of 5.26 milliamps while the display is updating. It's worth mentioning that updating an e-ink display is very very slow, so the CPU has to stay awake most of that time. But um, the main thing with e-ink is that it's designed not to update very, very often, uh, as when you hit enough updates, it's actually cheaper from an energy perspective to use uh, an LCD instead. Um, but I will have to investigate this in more detail uh, and post a follow-up video uh, with findings on actually lowering the power consumption here. Stay tuned uh, and subscribe to our channel. Uh, for more discussion about uh, energy optimization, please visit our forum at uh, coitech.com.